are, episode two of Crib Crashers. Just behind you, in front of me, stands our next victim's house. Uh, we're gonna go in here in just a moment, see what we can find. We're here on this beautiful spring day. It's been raining, nice neighborhood. Let's turn around and see whose house we're gonna be crashing today. Got him. Bennett, Layton, today's your day. Hope you made your beds. Going down. All right, Bennett, so we are in your room. We're here, we're gonna snoop around, we're gonna see what we can find. It's crib crashers, we're time to get crashing. First thing we're gonna do is just get a little bit of a pan of the room. Let's see if I can turn this around and get a good look at everything. So we got the big trophy case. There's um, all of your accomplishments. Looks like you forgot to push your drawers in as we were uh, as you were leaving uh, for school this morning. Didn't make his bed, got some dirty laundry there on the uh, on the on your bed looks like you should have put that stuff away before we got here you got a hat rack you got some sort of tech stuff going on here um, whatever those things are you got a picture there with coach Cal looks like a good picture and over here looks like you got some music stuff so it looks like you're into music and uh, well now now we got to do a little more crashing to see what else we can Lay find out. let's take a look at some stuff maybe he's not laying out that's where we find all the good stuff first thing I see right here is an old gym bag and I'm just kind of curious as to what was in this gym bag I'll be honest with you I've already kind of checked it out and I've found some disturbing things and I think Bennett you have some explaining to do so let's just kind of get into this when I look you kind of take a first glance and start looking at it and let's just see what Bennett, you got some explaining to do. What I have found in this bag is all sorts of Lone Oak First Baptist uh, paraphernalia. We got a Lone Oak mug. You found that. We have multiple of these Frisbees. I've been looking for these Frisbees. These now are coming up in two weeks, and I need these Frisbees back. Wondering what that's all about. I got some purple, um, D, you know, Resonate bargains that uh, I've been looking for those. You have multiple pins you even have one of Bob's upward trophies I'm kind of wondering why would you steal a license plates uh, I think you have an issue here you have stolen all of this stuff from church so I'm gonna to expect to have all of this back here so let's just walk in here and see what we can find in your closet it looks like you got a pretty messy closet lots of stuff in here you got some broken stuff I don't know what that's all about some sleeping bags all that kind of thing got plenty of shoes you need to clean this closet up a little bit more and then what is this what have we stumbled upon here Bennett you have we find so we've stumbled upon something here that we have to address and that would be this place set right down here when you find something like this in someone's room, it could be one of many things. You know, if they have a little sister, their little sister might be in their room playing. But Bennett, you have two brothers. Uh, maybe that they're just a kid, you know. And sometimes kids do weird things, like play with girl toys when they're, when they, whenever they should be playing with boy toys. But Bennett, you're pretty much an adult. So you really have no reason to be having Barbie doll play sets in your room. I don't know what's up with that. You keep applying this. If you apply this daily, three times a day, that rash will eventually clear up, Bennett. So glad to use, it, glad to see that you're using this. But I'm gonna definitely have to wash my hands after looking. All right, Bennett, we got one more test for you. That it's kind of a standard of mine when I go into a guy's room because I know how you guys are. And uh, so what I usually do, I like to just kind of sit here on the bed, and just kind of where you would, you know, where you would probably sit and relax. And then I'm gonna just take a hand. I'm just gonna take a quick feel underneath. The old bed match to see what we can, so we can find. Okay, something kind of interesting here. I'm gonna have to pull this out. All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to put this camera down so I can get a better, get a better look at what we got. Pull this out here. There's a lot of things I expected to find under here. This was not one of them. A life-size poster. Underneath your mattress. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what that's about. 
There's things that I've seen here that have been disturbing. The fact that you're playing with little girls' toys. You got some uh, itch cream back there in your bathroom that you know seems like it's been recently used. You haven't cleaned your room. But this takes the cake. All right, Bennett, you survived another round of Crib Crashers, episode two. Did pretty well. We found a few things that we may not like to, you know, and everybody like to know about you. You know, you're a kleptomaniac. You have Lottie Moon hiding underneath your bed. You play with Barbie dolls, and obviously you got some sort of itch problem going on. But beyond that, you've done pretty well. So the rest of you guys out there, keep your eyes open. I am coming for you. If you are cleaning your room tonight, it is already too late because I've already crashed your crib. Stay tuned as we continue our series on identity tonight as we look at the battlefront, which is found in the mind. Episode 2, Crib Crashers, we're out.